Hello everyone, my name is Renee Long, one of the social media specialists and webinar coordinators here at the American College of Healthcare Sciences. Joining me today behind the scenes for all our technical needs is Dominic Aiello, the other social media specialist and webinar coordinator here at ACHS. It's my pleasure to welcome you to today's ACHS info session webinar, How to Choose the Right ACHS Aromatherapy Program for You, with Dean of Admissions Amy Swinehart. Sorry about that. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. First, let's go ahead and make sure everyone can hear me. If you can hear me, please type hello into the chat box on the left-hand side of your screen. Hello. Hi, Libby. All right. Um, you also may have noticed that your line has been muted. We are recording today's webinar, and this helps ensure we can clearly hear our presenter. We will also have a Q&A period at the end of the call, so if you have questions as we go, go ahead and type them into the chat box. I'm going to go ahead and write them down, and then I will read them to Amy during the Q&A. Um, if there are questions that require a little more in-depth discussion, you can always email Amy after the webinar at amyswinehart at achs.edu, and I'll post that into the chat box in a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn the webinar over to Amy. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Amy Swinehart, and I am the Dean of Admissions here at the American College. And I wanted to start off today just by telling you a little bit about myself. I graduated from Washington State University with a bachelor's degree in sociology in 1995, and after that relocated to Portland, Oregon in 96, and joined ACHS soon after that. So I have been with the American College for quite some time. Uh, I have worked both in the Student Services Department as well as the Admissions Department here. And, um, you know, I'm really thankful for that just because it's allowed me to really see the different aspects of how the college runs and to really appreciate what each department does to support our students. I did take some time off about six years ago to stay at home for a bit with my two younger children, but they now are growing, so um, I am back at the college and I'm uh, really happy to be back working um, with such a great team. Outside of work, I love to spend time with my family and friends. I enjoy cooking, golfing, tennis, skiing, really anything that gets me outdoors to have some fun. Um, so anyway, enough about me. I am excited to talk about the aromatherapy programs that we offer here at ACHS and how to get started. I want to just go over a little bit about what we will be talking about today, um, some of the reasons why studying aromatherapy um, is so important, um, the aromatherapy and essential oil standards that, that we adhere to here at ACHS. Um, I will discuss, you know, a lot of uh, the programs that do consist of aromatherapy that we offer, go over the admissions requirements, um, there will be, I'm sure, um, information on funding and tuition that um, you all are interested in. And then, of course, at the end, um, feel free to ask me any questions that you have, and I will be happy to answer them. So the top five reasons that we feel it's important to study aromatherapy here. Um, you know, we feel that it's really, really important that you learn to practice aromatherapy in a very safe environment. And, uh, you know, really the only way to do that is to become very knowledgeable in doing so. Um, you know, all of our programs are online, so, you know, that allows our students to really enroll, or excuse me, study anywhere that they, that they have internet access. Um, so it's really convenient. You can study at the time that is convenient for you. Um, we really just require that for every three credit course that you're taking, you can commit about 10 hours a week of study time. Um, we offer great, um, you know, access to a lot of comprehensive information for, for when you are studying, for doing your research and doing your homework, um, you know, so that you have access to lots of databases and, and that such of information. Um, our aromatherapy programs offer some wonderful industry recognition, um, you know, that you can gain depending on what programs you graduate from, and we'll talk a little bit further about that um, when we discuss the um, particular programs. Um, and then just, um, you know, one of them being the Aromatherapy Registration Council, um, which is really important, um, you know, in the industry today to become a registered aromatherapist. Um, 
So one other thing that is really important to us here at ACHS, um, you know, with aromatherapy is um, really being able to provide essential oils that are of top quality. And um, many of you may be familiar with our president, Doreen Peterson, who really is a true leader in the aromatherapy industry. Um, she presents papers and, um, you know, holds speeches at several um, you know, international trade conferences um, throughout the world um, yearly. And, you know, as you know, we do provide essential oils with some of our, with our aromatherapy programs for your study. And it's important to us that those are, again, of top quality. So we bring them in, you know, from the distillers around the world, knowing that our students are studying, uh, learning to assess the quality of essential oils, that we feel are at their highest quality. Um, know that as a student, as a graduate, um, or anyone, uh, you know, is able to purchase any product, including essential oils, from our apothecary shop, um, which you can see the, uh, the website there um, for your reference. Um, we do offer about, uh, you know, six, seven programs that provide information on aromatherapy, whether it be a full program focusing on essential oils and aromatherapy or just, um, you know, a tidbit of, of a program. So we will begin to discuss those now um, in further detail. I do want to touch a little bit about the admissions requirements. For the undergraduate admissions requirements, we do, um, you know, accept, or it's a minimum of a high school diploma or equivalent. Um, and then, of course, a, a recommendation by the admissions committee and, and by myself, Dean of Admissions, into the program. Uh, you are required to submit those transcripts. Um, as a graduate uh, admissions, we are looking for a bachelor's degree that comes from an accredited institution in the U.S. And also, you are to submit a letter of recommendation. Um, so those things, I mean, feel free to ask me further questions. All that information is too available online, but those are the minimum requirements that we are asking for both undergraduate and graduate study. So talking about our programs, um, the first one is our Certificate in Natural Product Manufacturing program. And, you know, this program I feel is a great introductory to someone who has an interest in aromatherapy, but also might want to touch on some of the other modalities that complementary alternative medicine offers. Um, this program includes an aromatherapy course, our introduction to aromatherapy. It also includes our basics of herbalism course, and then our nutrition, body care, and herbalism program. And so it really just allows one to get a little bit of all the modalities that are involved and to use when making their products. Um, I personally took the uh, Nutrition, Body Care, and Herbalism course, absolutely loved it. Um, I looked at it as a, you know, something for me to gain that little bit of knowledge on everything so that I could, um, you know, for me personally, learn how to incorporate it into my daily life with myself and with my family, but also start making some products um, as well. The next program um, that I'd like to talk about is our certificate in aromatherapy and this program is just a great starting point for somebody who really wants to just main focus essential oils and aromatherapy. Um, you know, you're going to learn how to identify and safely use essential oils along with their methods of administration. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's important to us that you learn how to assess the quality of essential oils because, again, that is something that is so important when using them. Um, and then, of course, um, coming back again to the safety, learning how to identify contraindications and other safety issues that might come about when using essential oils. The Diploma in Aromatherapy, again, another wonderful program which basically you're going to take all of the courses that are involved with the certificate program in aromatherapy and then you're going to add anatomy and physiology so that you are learning about all of the different systems of the body and how to incorporate that with the oils that you're learning about and their methods of administration. 
Another wonderful course that is within that program is our aromatherapy chemistry course. And that is going to allow you to learn the chemical functional groups and pharmacological actions of essential oils. Um, something really important when becoming you know, an aromatherapy consultant and working with clients. I want to say that both of these programs exceed the curriculum requirements for the, the Naha Level 2 education. And they also both allow you, as graduates of those two programs, um, allow you, to be, you become eligible to sit to the Aromatherapy Registration Council, so the National Registration Examination, to become a registered aromatherapist. Um, another wonderful aspect of both of these programs, as a student, you are approved for student liability insurance with the Associated Bodywork and Massage profession Professionals. Um, and as a graduate, you then would be approved for practitioner liability insurance. So those are some great benefits as a student and graduate for both our diploma and um, certificate and diploma aromatherapy programs. Um, for those that are looking to go into the graduate level of study, um, you're going to be looking at you know, I first want to take a look at our graduate certificate in aromatherapy. Um, I do, you know, think this is a wonderful course for somebody who isn't necessarily ready to commit to a full master's degree program, but really wants to start getting into a more research theory based program. Um, you will, of course, be studying the essential oils, but keep in mind that as graduate level study, um, you know, there is hands on work, however, you're learning about how the, the oils are used and you know, you're also going to be looking at the who, what, where, and why of essential oils. You're going to be learning to question research and also to be asking your own research questions. Um, so it's, it's, you know, again, you're learning about the comprehensive application of essential oils um, and how to work, you know, work in the CAM field but from a, from a research-based perspective, more so than clinical. Um, getting back down to the associate of applied science and complementary, complementary alternative medicine program and choosing an aromatherapy major. So this is a wonderful program if you are looking to, again, major in aromatherapy because that is your main focus. However, this program also hits on all of the other important aspects of complementary alternative medicine. Uh, you'll be studying holistic nutrition, there's herbal medicine, there's anatomy and physiology, um, you know, some amazing courses, and then allowing yourself to really m focus on your major so that you have such a well-rounded education overall in other modalities. Um, because when you're working with clients, if you're choosing to become, you know, a practitioner, it allows you to you know, to really offer them not only one modality, but several modalities, um, you know, as, as in order to educate them on, you know, ways to improve their overall health and wellness. So it is, it's, it's just a, a wonderful program for anybody looking for an undergraduate degree program. Getting back into the master's degree programs that we offer that include aromatherapy, the first one would be our Master of Science in Complementary Alternative Medicine. And again, this is going to allow you that broad spectrum of, of different modalities, um, just from a graduate level perspective. So again, more of a research-based program. This program is a wonderful option as well um, for those maybe looking to study more than one modality because it only has six required credits. And the remaining 30 credits are your elective choices. So you can actually go in and choose your path, choose the direction you want to take with your studies. Um, you can choose to take, of course, all the aromatherapy electives, but then you may be interested in homeopathy or herbal medicine or holistic nutrition. So again, it allows that well-rounded degree program for um, you know, working within the industry and working with, with your clients. 
The Master of Science in Aromatherapy. Now, this is a wonderful program, and this is a newer program for us. It was just launched last spring. And, um, you know, this degree program has been here really, again, to help you to develop a, a practical as well as a theoretical understanding of, of aromatherapy. Um, you know, for example, when studying, let's say, lavender oil. In an undergraduate program, you'll, you'll learn about the oil, the methods of administration. Um, but in a graduate level, you're going, to further, you're going to gain further knowledge on the research aspect. You're going to be researching the essential oils and evaluating research and clinical trials on these essential oils. So definitely a graduate level of study. Um, really important, you know, again, just to assess where you're going with your career and, and what level of education is going to be most important to you. And of course, any of our admissions advisors are here to assist you with any questions regarding that um, during and throughout the admissions process. So as you can see, uh, several opportunities out there in, in the uh, career field with aromatherapy. Um, you know, becoming a trained natural product manufacturer, uh, aromatherapy consultants, coaches, registered aromatherapists, you know, lots of estheticians who are wanting to specialize in aromatherapy, making their own products for their clients, client-specific products. And that's what you can do if you have that, that knowledge on, you know, each essential oil. Um, that is so important, and, and so many people are, are realizing how important it is becoming. Um, so, um, you know, there's just there's so, many, there's so much out there, and, I, and, you know, we just feel that it's just so up and coming that um, everything is just going to continue to grow and we're happy, definitely happy to be a part of that. As a student here at ACHS, we do offer so many, you know, student resources. Um, as I said throughout your studies, you know, the, the amount of information we give you for researching for your homework and, and things. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the, the eligibility with ABMP is important. Any industry organization that you can become involved in is important. Um, and it's just another, you know, will be another asset to your career if that's the, if that's the way that you're going with that. Um, you know, we do offer a strong community as, um, within our, for our students as well as graduates. Um, as you can see listed, our, our My ACHS Connect. And for that, that is our student hub. I mean, that is, for lack of a better comparison, our ACHS Facebook. It is a private community. Only students, graduates, um, faculty are able to be involved. And it really allows you to join, um, you know, groups of students, whether it be students in your course, in your full program, whether it be students that just have another interest of yours. Um, it really allows you to connect and to, you know, seek information from each other, tons of networking opportunities. Um, it's just a, it's a wonderful asset. Um, the, the alumni practitioner directory, too, um, is, is a wonderful opportunity for you to see what our, what our alumni is doing now and today, um, you know, what businesses they are doing and running and what, they, what they have created for themselves. So I definitely encourage you to take a look at that section under our alumni portion of our website. Um, all of that information will be there for you to further review. And um, so something, uh, again, I encourage you to do. So let's talk a little bit today about the admissions process here at ACHS. Uh, the first step for the admissions process is for you to complete an online intake assessment. And, you know, that is really where we like to get in to really focusing on why we are you know, how we can be a good fit for you. What program is going to be the best fit for you? What are your goals with your education? What are your interests and what brought you to, you know, ACHS? Um, we really want to, you know, help you to and guide you and support you throughout your studies. So we want to be, make sure that we're helping you in the right direction. Once that assessment is submitted, um, you will be contacted by the admissions department and um, we review that with you again to just make sure that everything is a perfect fit for you. And then it is approved by the admissions committee once 
your assessment has been approved and you've been welcomed into your program. Again, you'll be needing to submit your transcripts. Um, again, if it's a graduate study, then we also will need a letter of recommendation um, from a suitable professional reference. And there will be other documents needed as well to finalize your registration. And until we actually receive your first payment or if you're using financial aid, we get that financial aid award letter, um, that is when your registration is secured. But we will definitely be working through the process with you the whole time. Funding options here at ACHS, we are proud to say that we, we do offer you know, quite a bit because it's important to us that our students, um, you know, have planned financially for their studies. And we also understand that going back to school is a very, very important investment for our students. And um, so we want to assist them in any way that we can. Um, we do offer in-house installment payment plans. So we basically take whatever you are owing for this semester and we divide that up into a monthly payment plan for you over the semester period. Um, there is also a semester payment in full option. We also have wonderful military benefits for anyone who is involved with the military, whether it be a current uh, you know, service member, a veteran, or staff. Um, so lots of opportunities there. We've been a military-friendly school for quite some time now. Um, we offer several grants and scholarships that are available. Um, massage, if you're a massage therapist or massage therapy student or practitioner studying alternative med med medicine, excuse me, um, there is the Helping Hands for Growth Grant Scholarship that is a new scholarship that we are offering. Um, and so we can definitely provide all of this information to you. As you can also see, there is a link for you to go to that has all of our tuition and funding. Um, federal student aid is something that we now offer, um, proud to offer to qualifying students who are enrolling in eligible programs. So again, lots of options there with financial aid as well as other payment plan options. Um, we would be happy to discuss further with you. Um, I also would like to encourage you, if you have not done so already, to download the view book. Um, you know, there's tons of information on all of our programs, all of our, our funding, scholarship, um, anything that um, you know, has involved, we are involved with. Um, so please go ahead and download that, um, something for you, you to review, gather your questions, um, and you know, we will be happy to assist you here at any time that we can. So um, I hope that I've answered a lot of questions that you may have had, um, but now we will be open for further questions. Um, Renee, go ahead and let me know what my first question is. Hi, everyone. Well, we haven't had any questions pop up in the chat box just yet, so if you do have a question for Amy, go ahead and throw them up in the chat box, and I'll read them for her so we can have it on the recording. Um, so go ahead, everybody. Go ahead and type your questions right there in the chat box, and Amy will answer them for you. While you guys are still thinking about your questions, I did want to let you know that you know, we are currently enrolling now for upcoming classes starting as soon as March 17th. And then we have our next full semester starting in May. So um, again, we are currently enrolling for those two periods. And uh, again, anyone in the admissions department here would be happy to assist you in any way. All right, so we have our first question right here from Libby. Um, she wants to know, what is tuition for the Certificate in Aromatherapy program? Okay, that's a great question, Libby. Let me break down the tuition and cost a little bit more for you. So for the undergraduate programs, our tuition is $305 per credit, and then we have an estimated materials cost of around $350 per three-credit course. I will say with the aromatherapy, the materials get up a little higher. So for the certificate program, you know, I'm going to say a rough estimate is going to be around $6,500. Um, I will let you know that if you go onto our website and look at that program, and if you click on each individual course within the program, we actually list for you the cost of that course. So we give you that breakdown. Um, hopefully that will help give you, you know, a better idea of, of what, that, what that program costs. 
Awesome. Thanks, Amy. Um, and Libby, I threw up some links there in the chat box, some helpful links, but feel free to email Amy um, or admissions at achs.edu for if you have any further questions about tuition and funding or admissions. Um, okay, we have another question from Heather, and she wants to know how many weeks is each three-hour credit course? Great question, Heather. Um, so each of our semesters runs 16 weeks. So if you were taking one course in a semester, it would be the 16 weeks. Uh, we have the three semesters a year, January, May, and September. And again, 16 weeks. Awesome. Thank you, Amy. Well, if no one has any other questions that we can answer right now, here's your last chance. It's going once, it's going twice. Um, we'll go ahead and wrap up our second ACHS info session. So um, you guys asked some great questions, so thank you very much. Please feel free, again, if you have further questions, to email our presenter, Amy, at amyswinehart at achs.edu, or your admissions advisor, if you have one already, with any follow-up questions. Um, thank you so much, Amy, for such an interesting and informative talk. And thank, thank you, everyone. You. Thank you. And think, um, also keep an eye out for an email which will go out tomorrow with a free recording of today's webinar plus the slides and that will also be on our YouTube channel as well. And please make sure to stay subscribed to the ACHS webinar email list to receive future announcements about our info sessions, also our master lecture series and other ACHS webinars. If you'd like to watch previous webinars, head on over to our YouTube channel, ACHS TV. And you can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ACHSEDU. And follow us on Twitter at the handle at ACHSEDU for future webinar announcements, college events, and holistic health news. So thanks again, everybody, and have a wonderful day.